deep frying in a pan can be dangerous if you don't take precautions. It's essential that the pan being used has a lid to cover it if it catches fire and have a damp tea towel to hand to smother any flames. Never leave the pan unattended when cooking. Use a pan with deep sides and fill the pan no more than half full with a flavorless oil such as vegetable or sunflower oil. These oils have a high smoking point so can withstand high temperatures without burning. Don't use olive oil as this doesn't have a high smoking point. Leave at least a 10 centimeter gap from the level of the oil to the top of the pan to allow for the oil rising and bubbling during cooking. Make sure the handles of the pan are facing inwards. Preheat the oil to the cooking temperature. Use a probe thermometer held upright in the middle of the oil to check the temperature. Or use a cube of bread. Drop it into the oil. If it sizzles in 20 seconds, it's around 190 degrees centigrade. If it sizzles in 40 seconds, it's around 180 degrees centigrade. If it takes 60 seconds, it's around 160 degrees centigrade. If it browns in 10 seconds, it is dangerously hot. Turn off the heat and allow to cool for a few minutes. Pat food dry with paper towels before frying. Moisture on the outside of foods can cause the oil to splatter. Don't get too close to the oil. Use long tongs or a slotted deep fry spoon and remove foods carefully. Deep frying is a fast process and smaller pieces of food will cook faster and more evenly than larger pieces. If deep frying larger pieces of raw meat, make sure that the oil isn't so hot that the outside burns before the inside is thoroughly cooked. For consistent results, cook in small batches. Adding too much food at once will lower the temperature of the oil. Allow the oil to return to the correct cooking temperature each time before adding the next batch. Doing both of these things ensures the food will be crisp on the outside rather than soggy or greasy. Drain the cooked food on kitchen towel to absorb the excess oil and keep the food crisp. Season with sea salt while still hot and serve immediately. Once finished cooking, don't move the pan of hot oil. Leave to cool completely before emptying. Never dispose of fat by pouring it down the drain.